What the fuck? Ramsey! What's going on? I'm... How to put it? Closing the asylum. How are you doing this? What is this place? Oh, this place again. What's it all about this time? Implanting memories. After the breakthrough made in 2013, a team of researchers led by Susumu Tonegawa, winner of the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1987, managed to implant a false fear-related memory directly into a mouse's brain. The implications of such memory editing in human test subjects were immediately clear, particularly in patients suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Co-author of Tonegawa's study, Steve Ramirez says we can begin asking questions that were once the realm of philosophy. Yet the scientific community remains divided on just how ethical such experiments would be. If painful memories can be simply wiped from a person's mind, to what extent might it alter our natural psychological coping mechanisms? To what extent would it change the very nature of who that person is? And to what extent could it interfere with what it means to be human? Body found in warehouse. The body of a 40 year old man is found in an abandoned warehouse near Route 10 on Monday. Edwin Hughes said it appears that the victim was shot from close range, but we don't know how long the body was there before we found it. Autopsy on Friday. I think we've already read this, haven't we? Questioning. Jasper Prito's death remains unexplained. Chadwick is certain it was a drug-related crime. Yeah, we've already seen this too. It's a note from Bart Fair. Cole Black. Upon leaving the military seven years ago, it seems Black lost years of his life to alcohol and occasionally even drugs. Uh, in order to fund his lifestyle, he took small-scale security jobs where he began to develop something of a reputation. Word spread about his ability and willingness to fight should the situation call for it, which ultimately led to work as a contracted killer. Over time, Black left the alcohol behind in favor of the thrill of his new work. Though his contracts pay well, Black seems to use the money only to gauge the importance of the contract and the seriousness of the client. Psych reports suggest Black is a walking contradiction. Unable to kill without feeling wrought with guilt, yet only able to find purpose in life through killing. No known family or friends. I'm afraid I haven't been quite straight with you, Black. My apologies. Right. Once and for all, what the fuck is going on, Ramsey? Where am I now? My memories, Mr. Black. Interacting with someone wearing the Pandora can sometimes create what I call synaptic bleed. Two-way traffic, if you will. <laughs> A flaw in the technology. And the asylum? Oh, forgive me. The asylum was necessary. Son of a bitch. That whole thing was just some big illusion. Simulation would be the correct term. The construct was of my own design, intended to keep your adrenaline at the optimum level for the technology to function efficiently. And the inmates? Patients are yours? The patients were nothing to do with me. I just provided the simulation. But the mind has a wonderful way of filling in the gaps. I show you a creepy old asylum, your mind populates it with lunatics. Likely just half-remembered characters from your life. Sometimes even films and books. Predictable, perhaps, but not unexpected. So you tricked me. This whole thing was a lie. Do you want to talk about lies, Mr. Black? Whose lies and tricks would you rather discuss? Mine or yours? I don't know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean.
This is Grace's room. You remember her, Black? The girl you tried to save. My daughter. Of course! Then why were you there? You were my employee, Black. My head of security. You knew my daughter had been taken and you said nothing. I don't remember! I don't believe you. What about Lenore, my wife? What about her, Black? I don't know what you want me to say! She left me, Black. She blamed all this on me, and it wasn't my fault. I refuse to accept responsibility for the actions of some terrorist. Tell me what you know! All I know of her is what I've seen here, in your memories. I'm sorry, I can't help you. What about this man, Black? You remember him? I remember you, Ramsay. And I am sorry for what you've been through. But I tried to help. I just didn't get there soon enough. Please, let me go. Is that what you want, Black? To be let go? Of course. We had a deal. Let you go? Happy to, of course. But let me ask you this. Are there any circumstances under which you would not wish to be let go? What the fuck are you talking about? Welcome to my office, Mr. Black. Have a look around. I'm sure you'll be able to make sense of everything. I can't take out my phone, so no flashlight. Is this Howard's bunker? Remember Howard was, like after ADS, kind of fell. It was rumored that Howard was just kind of like, they just had a hideout. And they were extremely dangerous. They ate lots and lots of pizza. Scare tactics, Ramsey. Well, it won't fucking work. Not anymore. You say you don't remember anything else. That you've told me everything. Then I don't need you anymore. You don't need me. If only you'd been a little more cooperative, things might have been different. Goodbye, Mr. Blake. Wait! Thanks Still for the memories. Robert! Don't do this! I'm sorry! I'm sorry for everything! Wake me up! Please! Just wake me up! Processing Pandora data. Oh, is this like all my decisions? Samson released from cell. Mm-hmm. Leonard Shelby killed. Yet he has break-in. Careful. Voice spared. Conflict minimal. Proceed. What happens if I say no? <laughs> what happens if I say no? Uh, yes. Psychopaths held captive. Walt Kaufman killed. Memory anomalies fully explored.
Subject's presence undetected. Jared, abandoned by subject. Human remains found in a forest. Oh, I mean, I wanted to help them. I didn't see any way to do it, though. Conflict minimal. Boyce's escape from asylum disregarded. Hmm? Pandora glitch. Undetected. Half of the stuff I don't even know what it's talking about. Mansion exploration incomplete. Conflict minimal. That's, I think, the only thing I've done a good job at is avoiding conflict. Except in the asylum. Conflict minimal. Subject's presence undetected. Conflict minimal. Savant data archived and ready for review. Subject largely rebellious and antagonistic. Disconnect. Would you like to commence archive data review, Dr. Ramsey? Uh, yes. Switch to Savant unit playback. Begin the review. Oh, and Hope, could you also fire up a coffee machine? Doctor, prior to review, my medical recommendation would be the implementation of a minimum four-hour rest period. Further caffeine intake will only delay fatigue, not arrest it. Then make it a double shot. Three sugars. I also need a baseline memory to carry out the review. Which was the most stable from those recorded? That would be... this. Cached on initial Pandora system startup of Patient Black 001. Good. Then let us explore a complete memory before we review the broken. Proceed with interactive playback. Okay, I don't think we're actually proceeding with it until we inspect it though, right? Looks like we can take a look around now. The question is not do we have false memories, the question is how false are our memories? Dr. Robert Ramsey. Development and purpose. Developed by Dr. Robert Ramsey for Future Defense Group, the Pandora unit is a cutting edge interrogation device currently in second stage prototype. Designed as the answer to the present challenge challenges faced by the military and homeland security, the Pandora unit probes the memories of civilian victims and suspected sleeper cell agents to effectively gather evidence and find answers within the current climate of homegrown and international terrorism. A humane modern solution to an inhumane modern problem. It is believed that utilization of this technology, both at home and abroad, will exponentially cut civilian casualties in the theater of war and destroy any sense of mistaken identity when dealing with potential terror suspects a factor common in current armed drone deployment due to the inaccuracies of facial recognition technology. What the... memory unit? A pamphlet on it or something? Operation and usage? Originally developed as a read-only device, the initial prototype of the Pandora headset allowed the operator to view the memories of any given subject. However, this read-only aspect was quickly realized to be flawed due to the fallibility of human memory recall. For so long, memory research has centered around the belief that our minds are like photo albums. All we need to do to recall a memory is mentally access the correct album and then view the perfect memory snapshot inside. Yet modern research has shown this to be false. In truth, when we recall a memory, we are recalling the last time we remembered that specific memory and not the event that caused the memory. This means that rather than a photo album, our minds work more like a computer filing system. Each time we recall a memory, we open it, make changes, and then save those changes, ready to recall at a later date.
Every time we recall a memory, the original is written over, with subtle and distinct differences. With reference to the Pandora device, this was immediately realized to be a glaring flaw in the tech. If a subject's eyewitness reports of their own memories cannot be trusted, how can an operator assess the truth in their findings? This hurdle led to the Stage 2 prototype, the introduction of the Savant Recorder, and the formulation of the Audit and Review Protocol. Savant Recorder. The introduction of the Savant was a major breakthrough for the Pandora project. If the Pandora headset reads memories via simulation and visualization of electrical stimulus to the existing synaptic pathways, then the Savant dynamically captures and records these memories for solo exploration and evaluation by an impartial operator at a later date. This implementation of the Savant recorder with the existing reader device has resulted in the current internal project codename Pandora slash Savant. Oh, we can interact with both of these computers. Huh. Let's see what else is around here. Audit and Review Protocol As a direct answer to the inherent inaccuracies of human memory, use of the Pandora Savant is split into two phases, Audit and Review. In the Audit phase, the Pandora operator subtly guides the consciousness of the subject, allowing them to openly and freely explore the locations, paradigms, details, and structures of any given memories. Okay, so that's what I guess Ramsey was doing with us. Throughout the audit phase, the operator is encouraged to remain impartial, not to influence the subject, and allow their consciousness to freely explore the desired memory pathways unhindered and with a minimum of guidance or suggestion. Uh, at this stage, anomalies and inaccuracies are expected, but the audit phase is used to gather information only. Multiple returns to the same memory during audit is encouraged, as further exploration of any given synaptic pathway will yield more evidence for evaluation during review. The review phase is undertaken by the operator alone without the need for an active Pandora subject, yet only once the audit is complete. This is Maslow's, yeah, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Uh, once back inside the memory by using a deep computational algorithm based on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, projected behavioral paths of least resistance, Known real-world outcomes and impartial observation, the operator is able to evaluate the most likely outcome of the stored memory. This extra review phase nullifies any inaccuracies of the subject's memory, strips all active anomalies within the synaptic recall, and allows a trained operator to extract the truth from any given memory with a current success rate of up to 90% accuracy. Current problems with the tech. Although far in advance of the first stage prototype, the Pandora Savant still has some critical flaws, which are yet to be ironed out of the design. Anomia, also known as tip of the tongue syndrome, is an unfortunate side effect in some subjects when interacting with the Pandora Savant. This takes the form of mild amnesia in some subjects, or an inability to recall any context or details about an accessed memory. The subject subconsciously understands that an explored memory is important, but cannot consciously understand why. This phenomenon is combated by the review process, but not mitigated entirely. It is believed that forgetting is a natural defense mechanism of the brain, stopping humans from dwelling on and reliving traumatic experiences from their past. With reference to the Pandora unit, it is believed that this is the natural reaction and rejection of the brain towards the Pandora process and technology. Huh. That's interesting. With reference to the Pandora unit, it is believed that this is the natural reaction and rejection of the brain toward the Pandora process and technology. That's talking about how the brain wants to forget traumatic things. So that is suggesting that the use of the Pandora is inherently traumatic to the brain? Hey, and that reminds me. The difficulty when I started the game was traumatic 
Remember? Rather than gentle. So, yeah. Which is interesting. I'm guessing they kept that under wraps because some of the descriptions I've seen of it, you know, the, the ad copy and whatnot, is talking about how it's a humane alternative to an inhumane modern problem. But if the Pandora is inherently traumatic to the brain, so much so that the brain just wants to forget it, everything that it, the Pandora was trying to do, just actively fights against it, then that is absolutely inhumane. Synaptic Bleed. A flaw of the technology which occurs during the audit phase. Due to the subject's mind being explored and the operator's mind observing, both being hooked up to the Pandora Savant for this opening phase, it has been recorded that the operator's memories will sometimes bleed into and overlay the memories and in-machine experiences of the subject. This phenomena has not yet been corrected. While this can be stripped out with some success during review, this two-way traffic is wholly undesirable, yet unfortunately unavoidable with the current iteration of the tech. Active Memory Access Due to the constraints of the audit phase, the operator guiding the rogue consciousness through echoes of their own memory, the subject's mind will only interact with memories they want to. This means that the operator must carefully guide the subject into the memories the operator wants to explore. Herein lies the difficulty of the operator's role. This is helped by introducing the subject to as much past stimulus as possible, uh, such as photographs or newspaper clipping, clippings based on and used to stimulate, stimulate past memories. Unintentional religious experience. A crippling side effect, which can only be viewed as extreme mental collateral damage. Certain less psychologically robust subjects have reported feelings of deep euphoria epiphany or snap enlightenment, and a feeling of presence from a higher being observing and judging their actions. While these are all explainable facets of the Pandora process, they also form the quantifiable backbone of real-world religious experience and conversion. As such, long-term test subjects can fall in onto a spectrum where, at one end, they develop curious, repetitious, and superstitious behavior, while at the other end they find and give themselves over to the worship of a higher power. Okay, well that brings to mind the whole Puppet Master thing. I think that's everything. Let's take a look at this computer first. Nothing to see there, I guess. Proceed. data review imminently. Decoding memory cache and savant playback. Binary filters online. Servers currently running at optimal speed. Inputting biorhythmic feedback parameters. Deep insulin injection in three, two, one. You are ready to go, Dr. Ramsey. Stay away from me. Stay away. It's okay. I'm a friend. My dad sent you. Oh, we're back here. Okay, I'm in. Commencing review. Now, where is... Everything seems so... muted. I don't have my phone or anything. Sonar. Using abilities will consume some of your savant computation resource, resource, which will then recharge over time. What? If you get close enough, you can assimilate an enemy. Assimilate? As in, what, like, become them? The 
Assimilation parameters stable, Dr. Ramsey. You are free to continue with the review. If you get spotted, enemies will reappear until you either get to the next memory point or exhaust their resources. Okay. I mean, at this point, there's no harm in just shooting enemies, right? I'm just gonna run in. Ah, here we are. Uh oh. To unlock pathways, you'll have to trigger engrams by holding space. Warping script active, Dr. Ramsey. Good. Okay, let's follow the trail. See what really happened. Save the girl. This is intriguing. I wonder what the yellow ones are. Look at how freaking dark this game is, you can barely see anything. Because I turned the gamma back down. Warp to imprints by pressing space. What's what's an imprint? Oh. Oh, that's the yellow ones. Remember to scan your surroundings with a sonar by pressing V. While warping to imprints, you are temporarily invisible for your enemies. Use this to your advantage. Okay, so I can skip past their lines of sight by warping. That's what it sounds this like. This is where they held her. Oh, Christ. I... Careful, Dr. Ramsey. Control. So all the pieces of evidence look like they're... Like, have little clouds on them. So we got rope, and that looks like... I guess like a bloody piece of cloth. You know, Hope, this is really quite satisfying. Doctor, might I remind you to control your emotional engagement while conducting the review? Any spikes in serotonin, dopamine, or adrenaline levels could... I know, I know. Cause distortion. Noted. Thank you, Hope. This was the person practicing target practice? Practicing target practice, yes. There seems to be a lot of resistance here, Hope. I wonder, was this a result of Black trying to hide something? Or from the Pandora itself? Yes, Dr. Ramsey. Black perceived threat here, which has bled across from the audit. Nothing I can do. Makes it more difficult. I'm not trained like Black was. No matter. Interesting. So is this what the poster actually was? A poster of black? Because that wasn't what I saw it as before. It was Ramsey or Howard. I'm not 100% certain which one. Almost pitch black. that over there? Oh, one of those engrams. Oh god. My poor child. Help me. I will fix all this. I promise. Emotional spike detected. Caution advised, Dr. Ramsey. I will get to the bottom of this and whoever is responsible will pay. Dr. 
Dr. Ramsey? Dr. Ramsey? What happened to the Pandora playback? I am trying to pinpoint precisely where or when you are. I am afraid your emotional state has caused a minor malfunction in playback. You are outside the code, Doctor. I would recommend caution. The data is unstable, fragmented. You must remain calm or you risk... Don't tell me the risks, Hope. Just get me out. Now, let's see where we are. <laughs> 